1947. The target is Jimmy Chen, a cynical tabloid journalist who will literally kill for a good story. A failed actor who became an internet sensation, the target has made a name for himself in online journalism by creating fake stories and sensational headlines. When taking on a pharmaceutical conglomerate, Chen obtained evidence that the company was withholding damaging data on an antidepressant. Instead of going public, Chen sat on the material for a year until a sudden wave of suicides gave him the sales hook he needed. Our client's sister jumped in front of a train and they hold Chen accountable. We have intercepted information suggesting Jimmy Chen is currently researching a secret society for a US tabloid magazine. Good luck, 47. Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and welcome to the Stowaway Elusive Target for Year 3. In this video, we'll be covering four methods for this one. This takes place in Isla scale, and it's going to be available for the next 10 days. But these four methods are as follows. The method one is going to involve in the default loadout. If you're a new player to the game, you don't have much equipment, you can try method one, and it will easily do it for you. Method two involves the pneumatic gas device. Third method involves using a uh, breach charge, and a fourth method involves using a micro taser. So whatever you want is uh, is up to you. Timestamps in the description. For method one, though, as I said, we are going to use the default loadout, which includes the ICA-19. Fiber wire coin, and I'm going to start at the harbor start location. And uh, so, if you're a new player, this is the best method for you. Scale 47. I'm going to skip the, the opening panning spotted. camera shot, and what we're going to do is head on straight on in. We need to make sure we get ourselves a nice disguise first before we, we can proceed. And we're going to take out the cameras quite early as well, just to get them out of the way. So, what you want to do is come over to this corner over here, take out your coin and throw it in the corner. That's going to distract one of the guards that's just over by the left. I'm going to pick up that brick that's just off the floor. We're going to use this to knock out the guard. Go ahead and knock him out and retrieve his weapon and the coin and put his disguise on. You can leave the body there. It won't get discovered. Next step is to climb this pipe all the way to the top and in front of you there will be a security room. Go ahead and take out your pistol. Head behind this, uh, this, this box, these boxes right here and shoot out the recording equipment. It will say bullet impact notice but you're just running straight out of the security room. You won't get spotted. As for this guard here, he's on his phone so stick to the left as you're running past him and it's all good. So the cameras are taken care of, you don't have to worry about those now. Once you're in this area, you can find Jimmy Chen quite easily by him standing in the corner over here, he usually is. And he will be making several notes on his dictaphone, announcing everything to the entire room, because you can hear him from the other side. We're not going to approach him at the moment, because we don't want to spook him, because if you approach him right now, he will go off and start doing some mopping on the floor, so we don't want him to do that. We want him to actually do something suspicious, other than this, what he's doing right now because we, otherwise we won't be able to talk to him. So, slowly follow him. Good here. Security up and, running. Everything is under control. and he's going to head over to the other side of the room, yeah. towards the gramophone. He's going to take a couple of pictures of that, and then Diana's going to point that out. As soon as she does that, that is when we can approach him. But don't get too close, otherwise it's not going to happen. He's going to get spooked, and again, he's going to walk away. So just be careful. Just keep your distance, and just observe him from a distance, just like I'm doing right now. So go ahead and approach him and talk to him. Find a way to make the target move to another location. No need to freak out about a quick And once his uh, once his conversation is finished, he is going to go and change his disguise. He's going to head on upstairs and change his disguise. So he can go to the downstairs bathroom, or he can go upstairs in an enclosed room. And you can follow him if you'd want to, but it's quite tricky to actually get him in there before he locks the door. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to go follow him in, 
if you want to try your uh, try your luck, then go for it. But what I do recommend is just setting up a trap for later on, which is exactly what I'm going to show you. So he's heading on to the downstairs bathroom, and if you follow too closely, he won't even go in there. He'll just head up here, and it's like I said, it's quite tricky to even get into the room. So I recommend just following where I'm going right now. Head on up these stairs. And then climb up this ledge. We are in a hostile area now. Let's keep that in mind. We're going to jump through the window. There's the content from the main map. He isn't usually here. It's a bit unusual why he's here. But what we essentially need to do is press our body against this uh, this couch. And as soon as this guard stands up, you'll have a subdue prompt. Once it appears, go ahead and subdue the guard. And then put his uh, body in the crate. Once you've done that, take his disguise. He's left the weapon there on the couch, so make sure you pick that up. Next thing we need to do is retrieve some poison. There's going to be some poison right here in the pantry. So grab that medic uh, rat poison. And once we've done that, we're going to head on outside. And turn off this fuse box. What that's going to do is attract uh, a waiter that's just inside. We're going to turn it back on as well. Make sure we turn it back on. Because if we knock the, uh, we knock the uh, waiter out before he turns it back on, it's going to distract someone else and we don't want to do that. So that's why we always turn it back on after the distraction has happened. So the waiter's coming over to investigate. We're going to close the door behind him and knock him out. He also drops a castle key as well. If you want to grab that, go for it. It's not necessary. So there's no real good hiding spaces up here, but we are just going to dump them over here because it's the best thing we've got. No one else comes out here anyway. So grab his disguise. I'm going to grab that key as well while I'm there. Why not? And what we're going to do now is just wait for our target to come upstairs. It's quite easy recognisable by his voice and his haircut. So what we're going to do is serve food at the counter and poison the food with the medic gas. Uh, medic I keep calling it a medic gas. It's not a medic gas. It's rat poison. There we go. A medic rat poison. So what we've got to do now is wait for our target. So you'll have confirmation of who that target is by... Well, you'll notice his haircut. Which come up, I'll show you. I'm pointing it out. And what you want to do is highlight him. And when it's, it gives you an option to serve. Just click that serve button. There he is. There's the target. He's the only one that wanders in the room with his haircut. So if you can, highlight him and click serve. Don't worry if you can't, because he's going to give you an easy option after this, because he's going to have a conversation with all these uh, all these ladies there, and he will come clo quite close to the bar and give you a better option to uh, poison him. So, if you don't worry if you uh, missed your opportunity. Just be careful not to serve anybody else, though, while it was poisoned, because if you do, you don't have any second set of uh, rat poison, so you might have to just restart the whole thing, unfortunately. So make sure you are poisoning the right person. Like I said, if you really do need confirmation of who the target is, listen to the conversation he has with the ladies. He makes it very obvious that he is who he is. But while he's heading to the bathroom, we're going to put this disguise back on, the Elite, elite Guard disguise. That's going to allow us to uh, get out to the exit quite easier. Much easier, quite easy, both things at once. Anyway, once we're into the bathroom, we're going to drown him. This is going to be classed as an accident kill, so even if his body is found, it's not going to spoil your son as raisin, so we don't have to hide the body. Target eliminated. Well done. We have the dictaphone that just drops on the floor, because that's the second objective. That takes care of that. The only thing we have to worry about now on the way out is enforcers. There might be a potential enforcer on the way out. There is an elite guard disguise, there's pretty much an enforcer to everything. So just keeping an eye out for him. That's why you use, a, use your instinct to your advantage. We're going to head out to the helipad. Looking tremendous today, Here indeed sir. is that elite guard I was talking about. He is a, an enforcer to this disguise. And once we head out over to the helicopter here, you'll have a silent assassin rating. Nice and easy. Let's move on to method two. Method two is involving the remote emetic gas device, and we're going to start in the warehouse. So that's all you need to bring. 
And we're going to let this cutscene play out. This is the camera panning shot I always talk about, but this time we're going to let it play out because there's a guard to our right and we want to make sure that he walks away first. So once it's finished, we can exit the blend spot and head through these doors. Jimmy Chen will be walking away right now. And once he stops moving, he's going to turn around. We're going to get like pretty much behind him, facing the wall. Then we can take out our gas device and then place it on the floor. You can use the shoulder buttons on your controller and the Y button or the triangle to place weapons if you don't know how to do that. So once we place it on the floor, make sure you set it off and you'll head to the bathroom. On the random occasions that you will head to your left, if you just start walking towards the left door, just restart and try it again because it's just, honestly, unfortunately it is random. But on most occasions, like 90% of the time, he will head to this bathroom. All we're going to do is just follow him in. And then drown him. If you're struggling with this method, I recommend trying the next method or even the fourth method. All of them are very, very easy. But you might prefer something else. A little less risky, perhaps. Once we've drowned him, we're going to pick up the dictaphone and head on to the exit. Just be wary of the camera just beyond this door, though and any uh, enforcers that might be in the area. Just be careful of that. But once we take the helicopter, it'll be a nice, easy silent assassin. So let's move on to method three. Method three is the quickest method. We're going to bring along the breaching charge for this one, and again, start in the warehouse. We're going to skip the opening the camera panning shot right there, and in the corner, this is just going to be a propane flask. Go ahead and grab that, and we're going to catch up to the target in the gallery. Now, I'm sure you're probably familiar with this method already, but if you're not, let me try and explain it to you. We're going to get close to the target, we're going to bump into him to, keep, to stop him from moving. With, your, uh, with, the, with the propane flask in your hand, go into your inventory, highlight the breaching charge, and we'll have an option to drop item. Drop it, and you'll drop the propane flask and the breaching charge at the same time. Create a gap between you and the target so you don't caught, get caught in the blast radius and go ahead and explode it. That will be an accident kill done. Fourth method, we're going to use the micro taser. So you might be want to do this if you want to play it safe. And even though it's safe, it's quite quick as well. So we're going to start in the warehouse and bring on the micro taser. And we're going to skip the opening camera panning shot as well. So we need to do this quite quickly. Take out your micro taser and bump into the target and drop it right there in the puddle of water. Well, it's a puddle of wine, isn't it? You can't actually see the puddle, but the puddle is there, trust me. But once you've interrupted the target there, he will go in the corner to try and do some recordings on his dictaphone. This is exactly what you want, want to happen. Stay close to him so he is uh, spooked. And what he's going to do is going to go over to the, where that the wine spill is. And he's going to try and mop up. And we're going to take advantage of that by triggering this remote uh, micro taser. This is going to allow our electrocution accident kill. And it's going to allow us to... Take the foam away from him as well. There we go. Retrieve the dictaphone and head on to the exit. Again, watch out for the camera behind the door and any enforcers that are, might be in the area of the helipad. But this is more of a, a safer method out of the, out of the, uh, the three faster ones. But all of them are relatively quite easy. Any questions on how to more advice on how to do this then let me know in the comments and i'll be sure to try and help you out as best as i can but overall there we go four easy silent assassins for this particular target hopefully we don't have to do this again for year four uh, i doubt there will be a year four but i'll have to wait and see but there we go four methods for the stowaway elusive target hopefully that has helped you out and if it has drop a like on the video if it has helped you out subscribe if you are new to the channel and click that bell icon and click all notifications to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for all the details of that. Thank you very much for all the support. Thank you very much for all the support from all the people that are on the screen right now, currently in the credits. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you next video. Cheers.